I guess uh, making cupcakes, Cutie Mark, could work too. All you have to do is take a cup of flour, add it to the mix. Now just take a little something sweet, not sour, a bit of salt, just a pinch. Baking these treats is such a cinch, add a teaspoon of vanilla. Add a little more and you count to four and you never get your fill up. Cupcakes, so sweet and tasty cupcakes, don't be too hasty cupcakes. Hi guys, Mizio of Man in Black Reviews here to bring you a read-along of the infamous My Little Pony fanfic cupcakes. I'm certainly not alone though, something like this could never be tackled by one person. So with me today is Reanimator, aka Graham, who actually got the idea to do this podcast and made me read this evil little fanfic a while back. Hi everybody. So, we are just, what we're going to do today is we are going to start from the very beginning and we are just going to read through the entire thing with commentary every once in a while because I'm sure there will be a lot to comment on. A warning first before we get into this though, this isn't exactly for the faint of heart, so uh, even if, no. <laughs> yeah, no so even if it is a My Little Pony fanfic, you may be scoffing at the idea that anything in that universe could be graphic at all, but... I just want you to think about that for a second. It's the internet. People write really weird things. So if you're the, of the faint <laughs> of heart... <laughs> yeah, exactly. So All if you're right. of the faint of heart, turn this off right now. Before we start, let me give you those who don't know what this is about uh, a little brief history. For those of you who don't know, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic has been all over the internet for about the past year or so. It's gained a cult following of... Uh, that's kind of outside the intended demographic who refer to themselves and each other's as bronies. I'm a brony myself. A hey, big shocker. The guy who reviews cartoons is a brony. Somebody call the press. <laughs> and they're act actually the bronies are pretty uh, are pretty well known as being one of the more uh, mature and level headed fan bases out there. Well, compared to fan fans of like Twilight and Naruto and stuff, but yeah. there are no exceptions to that rule, even with someone like this, or else this wouldn't exist. But with that little tidbit out of the way, let's get this over with. And I suppose it's good that you have watched the show and I have not, Graham, because I have never watched anything My Little Pony in my entire life. Okay, so. if you uh, have any questions or there's something you don't understand, feel free to ask me, and I'll tell you when. All right, sounds good. So, right. do you want to start this? Yes, I do. Okay, I will <clears> let <throat> you take it over then. <laughs> Cupcakes by Sergeant Sprinkles, the world's greatest pow party clown. Sergeant Sprinkles, if you're reading this, we just want you to let, let you know you're a sick bastard and we love you. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> the air was warm, the sun was shining, and every pony in Ponyville was having a glorious day. The town square was bustling and crowded and busy ponies filled the streets. All the pony folks seemed to have somewhere specific to be, all except Rainbow Dash. Her place was in the sky. She tore freely through the air, speeding one way and the next, buzzing the treetops and racing the wind. The blue pegasus swooped over a schoolyard, much to the delight of the children, then climbed several hundred feet and dove, streaking downward as fast as she could. Seconds before hitting the ground, her wings flew open and she pulled up back into the clear blue. Rainbow felt alive. And to think, this is starting off so sweetly. <laughs> yeah, lower your expectations, people. It only, gets <laughs> go it only goes down here from here. <laughs> Suddenly, Dash remembered that she had somewhere to be. She was supposed to meet with Pinkie Pie in five minutes. Dash had gotten so caught up in her exercises that she nearly forgotten that Pinkie had asked her to meet her at Sugar Cube Corner at three. Pinkie hadn't said why or what they'd be doing, but Dash knew that with Pinkie, it could be anything. Dash wasn't sure if she really wanted to go, though, but she was so engaged with her stunts that she thought about blowing Pinkie off to continue flying, which in hindsight would have been a really good idea. Yeah. But Dash's conscience got the better of her. She knew that it would hurt Pinky's feelings. After all, Pinky had said it was going to be something special just for the two of them. Yeah, I think it'll be very, very special. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dash considered it and thought, why not? What did she have to lose? Heck, it might be more pranking. Pinky might have found a bunch more fun stuff to pull on, folks, and they'd have so much fun the last time. Dash kicked into overdrive and to make up for lost time, and she sped to her appointment. When if only she knew what awaited her. Oh, yeah. When Dash walked into the store, she was immediately greeted by her host, who was bouncing in excitement. Yay, you're here! I've been waiting all day, said the jumping pony. Sorry if I'm a little late, Pinkie Pie. I was doing my afternoon exercises and lost track of time, Dash apologized. Pinkie giggled and responded in a gleefully reassuring tone. Oh, 
that's okay, you're here now. What's a few more minutes? I've been so excited thinking about the fun stuff we're going to do. I haven't stopped bouncing since I woke up. I mean, I almost forgot to breathe. I've been so happy. Dash gave a slightly uncomfortable laugh. She had always appreciated Pinkie Pie's friendly, outgoing way of life. But Pinkie's overabundant enthusiasm almost creeped her out. Dash maintained a polite expression, however. If Pinkie was this worked up, whatever she had planned must be good. So you ready to start get started, Rainbow Dash? I've got everything all ready, the Pink Pony said. Dash psyched up, excited. You betcha, Pinky. So what do you got planned? We gonna prank somebody? I got a couple of good ones I've been thinking about. Or maybe we've got some stunts you think I should try. Or perhaps making cupcakes, Pinky happily announced. Baking? Dash was disappointed. Pinky, you know I'm no good at baking. Remember last time? Oh, that's not a problem at all. I only need your help making them. I'll be doing most of the work, Pinky explained. Oh yeah, she'll be doing all the work. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dash thought about it for a second. Well, I, all right, I guess that's okay. What exactly do you need me to do? That's the spirit. Here you go. Pinky handed Dash a cupcake. Dash was puzzled. I thought it was helping you bake. You will be. I made this one just for you before you got here. Yeah, I think she'll be very helpful in the entire process. <laughs> oh, yeah. She can't do it without her. Oh, no. So is this like a taste testing or something? Sort of, Pinky said. Dash rugged and popped the pastry in her mouth. She chewed a bit and swallowed. Not bad. Okay, now what, Dash asked. Now, Pinky informed her, you take a nap. Puzzled, Dash opened her mouth but felt instantly lightheaded. A wave of dizziness washed over her head. The world spun, and seconds later, she collapsed onto the floor. And so it begins. <laughs> yeah, if we were adding music to this, this would be the part where, like, the happy whimsical music ended and where the creepy uh, 28 Days Later soundtrack kicked in. Yeah, or the dun-dun-dun. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you can take it from here, Opal. Oh, boy, of course you let me start right here. <laughs> I am so evil. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> when Dash regained consciousness, she found herself in a dark room. She tried to shake her head, but found that a taut leather strap had held it firmly in place. She struggled to move, but braces around her chest and limbs glued her to a rack formed from a series of sturdy planks, which spread her legs wide apart. Dash's wings were the only part of her not tied down, and they fluttered frantically while she struggled to escape. As she writhed, Pinky jumped suddenly into her line of sight. Goody, you're awake! Now we can get started, Pinky stated gleefully. <laughs> she bounded into the darkness and quickly reappeared, pushing a small cart covered with a cloth. I wonder what could be under that cloth. Hmm. It's a cake! <laughs> <laughs> Pinky, what's going on? I can't move, Dash said urgently. Well, <clears throat> duh! That's because you're tied down, chided Pinky. That's why you can't move. I didn't think you'd need to be told that. But why? What's happening? I thought you said I was going to help make cupcakes. You are helping. You see, I ran out of the special ingredient and I need to get more. Special ingredient? Dash was now breathing heavily and starting to panic. What special ingredient? Pinky giggled and responded, You silly! <laughs> oh boy, this isn't good, I think. Billy gets downhill from here. <laughs> or uphill, depending on your point of view. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Dash's eyes widened, and her face contorted and feared. Then she started to laugh and said, in a voice bordering on hysteria, Woo! You really got me there, Pinkie Pie! I mean, tricking me into thinking I'm gonna get made into a cupcake. I gotta tell you, this is the best prank yet. You win. You're the best. Pinkie only giggled even more. Aw, thanks, Dash. But I haven't done any pranks today, so I can't accept your praise. Dash was struggling again. Pinky, come on. This isn't funny. Then why were you laughing? Before Dash could answer, Pinky grabbed the cloth and whipped it off the cart. On the cart was a tray containing various sharp medical tools and knives, carefully organized and wickedly sharp, as well as a large medical bag. Ah, oh, damn it, it wasn't a cake. Aww. <laughs> well, it's a sharp, pointy cake. <laughs> One that would be very, very painful to eat, I think. Yep. <laughs> you think? Dash was now in full panic mode. She was starting to hyperventilate. Her mind raced as she tried to reason with the pink pony. You can't do this, Pinky! I'm your friend! I know you are, and that's why I'm so happy that I've got you here. We get to share your last moments together, just you and me. Pinky was skipping again. Aww. But <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> but thoughtful. the other pony... 
<laughs> yeah, but the other ponies will wonder where I am. When the clouds pile up, they'll come looking for me and then you'll get found out, Dash cried in desperation. Oh, Dash, said Pinky. Don't worry, there are plenty of Pegasus ponies to take care of a few clouds. And besides, no one will find out. I mean, how long do you think I've been doing this? And with that ominous statement, the light suddenly came to life and revealed the rest of the room. Uh, just so I let you know, uh, Rainbow Dash's job in Ponyville is to clear the clouds out of the sky. That's yeah. what she was referring to. Ah, okay. Moving on. Oh, no. Dash reeled in horror at the image presented to her. The room was decorated with a typical but twisted Pinkie Pie flare. Colorful streamers of dried entrails fluttered on the ceiling. <laughs> Brightly painted skulls of all sizes were attached to the walls, and organs done up in pastels filled with helium were tied to the back of chairs. <laughs> <laughs> Those are more fun balloons than have been at my birthday parties. <laughs> we the all tables and down here. <laughs> The tables and chairs were made of bones and the preserved flesh of past ponies. Dash cringed upon seeing the centerpiece of the table nearest to her. The heads of four of foals, their eyes closed as if they were sleeping, were wearing party hats made from their own skin. With a thrill of terror, Dash recognized one of them as Apple Blossom's classmate Twist. Dash's eyes darted back and forth and then fell upon a patchwork banner hanging from the rafters. Made from several tanned pony hides, the words Life is a Party were scrolled on it in blood red. <laughs> oh, oh my, my god. god, this is probably the most macabre party I have ever been to. <laughs> and, I've Dash been, is... and I've been to Marilyn Manson's house. <laughs> Dash's attention was brought back by a party horn unfurling and tickling her nose. She gaped at Pinkie Pie, who was standing right in front of her. The party pony was wearing a dress quilted from dried skin and blazoned with cutie marks. On her back fluttered six pegasus wings, all of different colors. As the earth pony skipped in excitement, her necklace of severed unicorn horns clacked together loudly. Like it? Pinky asked. I made it myself. Desperately, Dash pleaded with the smiling pony before her. Pinky, please, I'm sorry if I did anything to you. I didn't mean it. Please let me go. I promise I won't tell anybody. Oh, Dash, you didn't do anything. It's just that your number came up, and, well, I don't make rules. We can't turn back now. Dash was tearing up. How could this be happening? Aw, don't be sad, Dash, said Pinky. Look, this will cheer you up. I brought you a friend. Seemingly out of nowhere, Pinky produced a brightly painted blue and yellow skull. It was about pony size, but it had a very defining feature, a beak. Dash gaped in shock. Is... is that... is that... Hey, Dash, let's hang together! These ponies are lamos! Dweebs! 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 Pinky <laughs> mimic. I caught her right before she left town. Remember when I left the party for about 20 minutes? That wasn't enough time to play with her, of course. I had to wait until after the party to do that. But boy, am I glad I did. It was worth it for the flavor alone. Griffins tastes like two animals at once. It's amazing. I know she didn't have a number like everyone else in Ponyville, but when was I going to get another chance to try Griffin? I probably should have asked her where she came from so I could have gotten more. I got, I got the chance to play with somebody other than a pony and trying new things. It's too bad she was such a meanie mouth. She said such bad stuff that I had to cut her tongue out. You know how bad language makes for bad feelings, Rainbow Dash. <laughs> I know, bad language, that's just so mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, that was referring to uh, this one episode character, Gilda. She's a griffin. She was an old friend of Rainbow Dash, Dash's who came to visit her, and she was a bitch to all her new friends. Yeah. So are they referring to any specific party that happened in the show, or is that just yeah, some there was, uh, reference? Yeah, there was this uh, one party at the end of the episode uh, that Pinkie Pie tried to prove to everyone that... She that she was uh, really mean because no one believed her, but she made Fluttershy cry, so she totally deserved it. Yeah. Dash didn't have anything to say. She just sobbed and writhed in her tight bonds. Well, said Pinkie Pie with an air of finality. That's enough reminiscing. It's time to begin. Putting down Gilda's skull, the pink pony gripped a scalpel in the cleft of her hoof and walked over to Dash's right flank. Oh boy, without, here we go. <laughs> without any flare, Pinkie placed the blade an inch above Dash's cutie mark, and began a circular cut around it. Dash shouted in pain and tried desperately to pull away, but the braces held her still. Finishing the incision, Pinky grabbed a curved skinning knife from the tray. Screwing up her face in concentration, she worked it in under Dash's skin and sliced the hide away from her muscles. Dash grounded her teeth as she tearfully watched her flesh peel off. Pinky then moved to the other side and repeated the process on Dash's left flank. 
Once she had finished, Pinky held up both Q marks in front of her friend and started waving them around like pom poms. <laughs> Dash That's just quite the cheer. <laughs> yep. Dash just whimp whimpered. Her thighs burned like nothing she had felt before. Placing the ragged patches of skin down, Pinky selected a larger butcher knife and walked behind the blue Pegasus. Hope you don't mind if I'm gonna wing it now. <laughs> yep. Oh, There's a lot of pun in this one. <laughs> it only goes downhill from here. Oh. I've been saying that a lot lately, haven't I? <laughs> then, stretching the wing out, Pinky brought the blade down hard at the base. Instantly, Dash screamed and thrashed her appendage. The movement threw off Pinkie Pie's aim. She tried to hit the mark again, but missed, and it carved a huge slice down Dash's back. I guess it's a good thing I like Hostel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is kind of like a cross between Hostel and Sweeney Todd. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Although I don't think there are any priests in Ponyville. Dash, you gotta stay still or I'll keep missing, scolded Pinkie Pie as her friend howled. Pinkie took another whack and hit her target. She swung again and again. Blood sprayed into the air. But Pinkie realized she wasn't getting anywhere. The blade just wasn't going through the bone. Hmm, I guess I forgot to sharpen it. I'll try something else, stated Pinkie matter-of-factly as she tossed the knife over her shoulder, embedding the blade in the table. Man, if it wasn't so sharp, how is it embedded into the wood? <laughs> This is a good point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Through the haze of pain and tears, Dash heard the sound of a metal box opening and closing. Got it! Say, Dash, why do they call it a hacksaw? It doesn't hack. Hacking is what I was doing with the knife. This is saw. I don't get it. Pinky placed the tool over the mangled flesh of the last attempt. Standing in her hind legs, she worked the saw back and forth with her front hooves. It sliced effortlessly through the bone and skin. The feeling of the jagged teeth grinding into her made Dash want to vomit. She watched numbly as her wing flew over her head and landed with a fluff on the table. Pinky moved to the next wing and started sawing. Dash didn't struggle this time. She'd given up trying to fight and focused on choking back screams of agony. Abruptly the sawing paused. Pinky was only halfway done, the wing hanging off by a sliver. Hey Dash, Pinky piped up. Think fast! Suddenly, Pinky yanked the wing as hard as she could. The bones snapped, but the blue pony skin held, then tore away. The pole ripped away a long strip of flesh all the way down Dash's back to her rump. Her body ceased at the unexpected trauma. As her pelvis tensed up, Dash felt a warm release from her legs, and her loud, unending melody of pain filled the room. Unable to catch her breath, she blackened out. And to think, someone could get the idea for this story from a children's show. God. <laughs> yep. Dash awoke with a gasp. The stench of her urine filled her mucus-caked nostrils. <laughs> As her vision swam into focus, she saw a very pouty Pinkie Pie removing a large adrenaline needle from her chest. Stumping her hooves, the frustrated Pinkie Pie lashed out at her helpless victim. Hey, I didn't, didn't know they had Pulp Fiction in Ponyville. <laughs> <laughs> didn't anybody teach you any manners? It's very rude to fall asleep when somebody invites you over to spend time with them. How would you like it if I came over to your house and went to sleep? Oh, I'm sorry, Dash. You're so boring. I think I'll take a nap. You think I like always doing this by myself? I told you how excited I got when I found out you were next. I was excited to have a friend here with me while I worked. But no, you've got to be inconsiderate. <laughs> you know, I thought you were tough. I thought you could handle anything. I've had full stand up better than you. Do I have to baby you, huh? Is that how you want me to remember you, as a baby? As Pinky stopped to catch her breath, Dash blinked and sobbed softly. Her back was in agony, her sides were on fire, and there was an intense pain in one of her legs. As she blinked again, she saw Pinky pop something red into her mouth and began to chew. Oh god. As she... <laughs> Noticing Dash's stare, Pinky quickly gulped the morsel down. What? Pinky asked. Oh, this? She held up another piece. Well, while you were asleep, I got a little patient and helped myself to a small sample. I got it from your leg. You're not bad. Wanna try some? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> who thinks of these things? Some, <laughs> Without... sick, some sick bastard who watches way too many horror movies. <laughs> Without waiting for a response, Pinky shoved the strip of meat into the revolted Pegasus Pony's mouth. Dash gagged and immediately spit it out. <laughs> Pinky frowned and picked up the chunk of flesh. If you didn't want it, you could have said no. She contemplated the discarded snotty morsel, then gulped it up. <laughs> it smelled like you... <laughs> 
It's not I, like you I, haven't I, had my I cupcakes know that's before. Disgusting, but that's <laughs> that, that's fucked up right there. Oh god. Swallowing, Pinky turned her attention to a small can on the tray. She removed the lid, revealing that it was filled with red hot coals. Oh, oh this isn't gonna end well. I'm sorry. Lying I'm, on I'm sorry. I mean, I can like sit through like someone having their flesh ripped off, but yeah. whenever you uh, get something involved like like teeth or fingernails, yeah. I this just takes start- it to a whole new <laughs> level. Oh okay, yeah. Move on. Moving on. Lying on top of the coals were several large nails. As the adrenaline filled her veins, Dash began to panic again. Picking up the can, Pinky walked over to Dash's left. Holding some tongs with her mouth, Pinky carefully picked up a nail and positioned it at the seam between her victim's front leg and hoof. She then grabbed a hammer and took careful aim. No, Pinky! Dash screamed. No! No! The hammer came down and the nail punctured Dash's skin. The white hot burning was too much. Dash screamed as she pulled and thrashed at the braces, causing her raw skin to rub and tear. Pinky tried to line up another nail, but couldn't find her aim and let out a frustrated grunt. When Pinky brought the hammer back to take a wild swing, Dash burst out crying and begging, Please stop! Please, please stop! Pinky <laughs> Pinky rolled through her eyes. <laughs> Pinky rolled her eyes. I know, Rainbow Dash is just being so insufferable right now. Pinky rolled her eyes. Putting down the hammer and tongs, she walked back in front of her friend and stared pensively at the broken Pegasus. Gilda didn't even cry this much when she had a live Parasprite stuffed down her throat. (laughs) (laughs) Pinky thought for a minute about what to do next, then had a sudden spark of inspiration. Rotating a wheel on the rack, Pinky laid Dash on her back, then moved to to Dash's hind legs, bringing the can with her. Picking up her tools, Pinky drove a searing hot spike of metal directly into the bottom of Dash's hoof. As Dash yelled in pain, Pinky moved around and drove a second nail into the other hoof. Next, Pinky went back to her cart and located an enormous battery and controller, oh god, which she dragged over to where she was working. She tied copper wires between the terminals and the nails driven into Dash's hooves, then gave Dash a wink and flipped the switch. As a side note, you have to wonder where you can buy this stuff in Ponyville. Yeah, that's (laughs) a very good question. (laughs) Electricity rocketed through Dash's body. The blue pony reacted immediately. Her body seized, and her muscles snapped taut. Dash's hips thrust skyward, her eyes rolled back, and she let out a deep, throat-shredding cry. Pinky giggled and danced in place, then reached and turned up the juice. Dash convulsed uncontrollably, and her bladder emptied once more. After about five minutes, Pinky shut off the power. Wisps of string rose from the singed fur around Dash's hooves, and the area reeked of cooked flesh and burnt enamel. Pinky rotated Dash upright again and tried to snap the drooling, delirious pony back to attention. Dash! Dash! Rainbow Dash, wake up! Dash moaned and managed to give a modicum of weak acknowledgement. Pinky studied her handiwork, then reached into the medicine bag and produced a large syringe. All right, time for the last round. Oh my god. Uh, okay, this is my favorite part. <laughs> I hate needles. That like nails and such is your thing. I don't like needles. Yeah. Uh. Okay. This is the. <laughs> yeah, and and I had to I had to get a TB shot last week, so this is kind of making it <laughs> worse. <laughs> but uh, but after this, get prepared for a prop act that's gonna make Carrot Top look like the prop segment from Whose Line Is It Anyway? <laughs> okay, where was I? All right, time for the last round. Dash focused blearily on the needle, which Pinky took as a question as to what it was. This is a little something that will take the pain away. Pinky informed... Oh, how nice! (laughs) Pinky informed Dash as she walked around to her victim's ruined back. Dash flinched as Pinky jabbed the needle into the lower part of the blue pony's spine. Moving in front of her friend again, Pinky leaned down and elaborated. In a few minutes, you won't be able to feel anything below your ribcage. Then you'll be able to stay awake and watch the harvest. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> she's not harvest. She's not harvesting corn or wheat, people. No. If you watch Repo Man, you know what's in store. <laughs> okay. Dash started to cry again. Pinky, she choked out. Yeah. I want to go home. Dash sobbed. Yeah, I can see wanting to do that. Replied the party pony. Sometimes I just want to give up. Just say I'm done with this mess and go to bed. But you know what? You can't shrug off your responsibilities. You gotta pull yourself up and meet the challenges head on. That's the only way you're gonna get ahead in life. Aw, how motivational! (laughs) (laughs) Dash hung her head and cried. Minutes passed as the drug took effect. 
Eventually, Dash was completely numb from the chest to her flanks. At this point, Pinky approached with a scalpel. Glancing at Dash and smiling, Pinky had long horizontal cuts across the Pegasus Pony's pelvis, just above her crotch. Moving up Dash's body, Pinky made a similar incision under her ribs. All right, everybody knows you're supposed to make a Y incision, not an I incision. (laughs) (laughs) Finally, Pinky made a long vertical cut down Dash's stomach, connecting the first two. Looks like I got my eye on you, Pinky giggled. Yay, puns! (laughs) Get prepared, there's a ton more. (laughs) With a moist, gooey sound, the flaps of skin opened. The sight of her own organs and the lack of feeling caused Dash's breathing to intensify. Pinky carefully sliced open Dash's abdominal sac and grabbed her large intestines. As she separated the organ from the rest of the digestive tract and pulled it out of the out of the new cavity, Pinky grew jovial. Laughing as she gutted her friend, Pinky began to make jokes. Dash, growing weaker from the few sor- new source of blood loss, tried desperately to shut out the macabre comedy act. Okay, how has she gone this long without losing so much blood? Yeah, that's true. I mean, you'd think a normal human would be dead by now. But she's a horse. (laughs) Yeah, true. All right. (laughs) Look at me! I'm Rarity! Pinky laughs, slinging the intestine tube around her neck and spraying blood in all directions. Isn't my new scarf so pretty? I have a feeling that's something only my little pony fans understand. Uh, Rarity is one of the- is one of the main characters, and, uh, her job is, uh, She's a designer. She, like, makes her own dress, and she's, like, dresses, and she's, like, really into fashion and stuff. Ah, okay. Reaching back inside, she sliced the smaller intestine off from the bowels. Squeezing out the excess excrement, Pinky filed the slimy organ through her teeth and dragged it back and forth. Dentists say he got a blast every day, Dash. Oh, God. How how is she able to fit those between her teeth? Oh, I can't imagine what her teeth look like after flossing with that. (laughs) Uh, Dash was barely aware of what was going on anymore. The shock was causing her to fade. Disappointed, Pinky dived back into the blue pony's guts, ramping up her routine. Ah, don't go yet, Dash. Pinky started pulling out the rest of Dash's organs, pausing with each removal. I know it can be a real pancreas, but you know I'm just kidding with you. You really gotta learn to liver it up. Boy, these jokes are getting bladder. Guess he just gotta develop a stomach for them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so <The> horror. Much fun. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite part. Oh. Picky placed the discarded body parts into a bucket, keeping the last one for a bit longer. Ooh, bagpipes, she said, placing the end of Dash's <laughs> placing the end of Dash's esophagus in her mouth and the stomach oh, in her god. Own head. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She squeezed at a spurt of acid in her tongue. Ew. Oh. oh, hey, look, there, look, there's your cupcake, Dash. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, oh. I think the worst is over. Oh. Dash didn't hear her tormentor. She had slipped from consciousness minutes ago. Pinky, not yet satisfied, hit Dash with another adrenaline. Where is she getting all this adrenaline? Yeah. Jeez, Ponyville, I didn't realize it had such a black market. <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. <laughs> Dash woke up for the last time, her heart pounding. Warm blood flowed out from the wound in her chest in great spurts. It wouldn't be long now. Pinky brought Dash around onto her back again and straddled the blue pony's chest, scalpel at red the ready. You know, Rainbow Dash, I'm disappointed. I thought you would have lasted longer. I really wanted to spend more time with you before we got here. But I guess it's my fault. I should have taken it a little sh- slower. Oh well. It was really nice knowing you, Dash. <laughs> the blade sunk into the blue throat and worked its way up to Dash's chin. Coming coming back down, Pinky's scalpel then circled Dash's neck. The last thing Rainbow felt was her skin being cut away from her skull and the middle of the blade scraping her teeth. Then she was gone. Mm. No. You want to wrap this up? All right. I, it's just two I more will paragraphs. take that on. <laughs> Pinkie Pie stared into the mirror. She had done a really good job, even keeping the eyelids. She winked, and Dash winked back. Pinkie smiled. Oh, great. Smiled. Now we have elements of Texas Chainsaw Massacre in here, too. <laughs> yeah. Man, this guy must be a real horror buff. Oh, God. 
But still, she was sad that her friend was gone now. Dash had only lasted 50 minutes, not nearly as long as Pinky had wanted. She looked back at the cadaver hanging in the center of the room, the last of her friend's fluids draining into a pan. Yup, no more Rainbow Dash! <laughs> as she looked, Pinky cocked, cocked her head. She began to take notice of the fact that there really wasn't much damage to the corpse. In fact, the pink pony mused, I think... An idea exploded into her head. She was good at sewing, and she had all the pieces. All she had to do was put them back together. Yeah, she just had to get some stuffing, and bingo, she'd have Rainbow Dash forever. In fact, thought Pinky, that's what she'd do for all her best friends when their numbers came up. She was so excited, she skipped right over to the body with her skinner to get started. The cupcakes could wait. Pinkie Pie had a friend to make. Aww. <laughs> and then, wait, and then the talent agent just stared at her for a really long time and said, Jesus, that's a hell of an act. What do you call it? And then Pinkie Pie said, I call it the Aristocrats! <laughs> oh, okay, that was more God. <laughs> This almost reminds me of this ending. I don't know how many people have actually seen it, but a movie that really affected me a few years ago that I saw, a movie called May, where she basically, the ending is basically the same. She takes the body parts of various people and she makes her own version of a friend. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I bet oh. the, whoever wrote this has seen that movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, final thoughts? Oh, God. I mean, it's it's entertaining and f it's like, you know you shouldn't laugh, but something just makes you find it so fascinating. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, my I mean, God. Yeah, I mean, the show is like, I mean, the show, like I said before, the show is has like exploded on the internet it's spawned like countless memes and this is like one of the biggest ones oh yeah I mean, this definitely. is actually one of the most infamous fan pieces of fan fiction in recent memory yeah and it has gotten pretty popular pretty recently i don't know exactly when it was written but i know the show's pretty new i yeah, think the show came, it out, came out last year yeah about a year ago like right around now uh, they, yeah so they just, this would their, be uh, they just started their second season about uh two weeks ago Oh, so this would be a relatively recent fanfic then. So yeah. it got pretty popular I fast. Heard, uh, I don't know if the source is uh, really uh, really uh, reliable, but I heard it first came onto the internet like around February of this year or something. No. But uh, but like you said, this like I said earlier, this has become really big. There has been like, and if you saw the uh, page I sent you, there are uh, like a bunch of other versions. There's like retellings, alternate endings, sequels, <laughs> prequels, spin-offs, and- Yeah, I can actually see how this could get popular, because there is something, I don't know, there's just something about it that's so weird. The fact that someone could take something that's, uh, is directed towards little girls and turn it into this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. It takes a certain kind of person. <laughs> a certain kind of person, indeed. Yeah. <sighs> uh. Well- so, anything else to add before we wrap this up? Yeah. I'm going to take a really hot shower for about two hours. Yeah. And then I'm going to go to the bakery. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> God. I think Opal here is probably uh, going to try her best to, like, uh, I don't think she's yeah. probably going to be able to eat pastries for a very, yeah. very, and very considering long time. The, considering the fact that I bake sometimes, I know that the next time I make cupcakes, this will be in my mind. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. Well, the people, horror. Well, thanks for sticking around with us. This lasted a lot quicker than I thought it would. Yeah, I guess that is because it's a relatively quick read though it's not that terribly long yeah, i actually I mean, remember it being a bit longer but yeah, i think it's only like five or six pages now well i'd like to thank mizio for agreeing to do this and for being such a good sport and sticking through with it to the end yeah even if it was oh oh my god this fanfic how do you even describe it but yes this was lots of fun yes. <laughs> join us next week maybe. Maybe.